Hey, what's up, guys? Easy Paintballer. Got a uh, die rotor video review. Um, I don't have any paint to do a drop test, but I'm so sorry. Um, here's the box. It's a, it's a pretty nice box for a uh, hopper. Gives you a little of information about it. Some of the colors. Is this is uh just the stock colors? You have way more now, but so when you get into the box, it's got a nice little flappy cover. Here's my rotor, we'll get back to that. The manual, really nice manual. This color, real nice. Everything you'd expect from a $200 hopper. Uh, tells you how to take it apart, all the little parts, screws, this and that. So that comes in the box. <coughs> um, also comes it with a die sticker. Some one Allen key for the screws. Well, I have my stock lid in here, but and a warranty card. This one is currently expired, so there's no sense. You you only have 30 days of warranty. 30 or 90, I don't, I can't remember, but not a whole lot of time. So let's get that out of the way. Oops, sorry. Okay, to the rotor. Um, it's a great hopper. One of the fastest out there. Um, it's free fall speed, I think it's like 40 balls a second or something crazy like that. <clears throat> but on gun, it's only like 16 balls a second. Which, that'll keep up with any tournament now, so... I mean, that's, that's good. Uh, I believe they say it holds about 180 balls. Although, you can buy a high cap shell, which is about that tall. That holds 200 or 220, I think. So, uh, if you're looking to hold more paint, but still want a rotor, that'd be a good... Goodbye. My rotor has Ego Ballers and Gibby 12 sticker because they're like one of my favorite um, paintball YouTubers. Um, also, I kind of mi mixed match the color kit. It's got red and white, which I kind of like. I don't really mind it, but I have a Tadao sticker on there from my old gun. Um, Virtue V1 Crown. A lot of people don't like the V1s because they say they stick up too high. But I like it because the paint I think goes in easier. I had a, a, a HK speed feed and that the balls got stuck. I had a, a Exalt speed feed and those got stuck. So I mean I like this best. Uh, also it flips up so you, for whatever reason, I, or in case you want to fill up paint through a caddy or whatever, it's easy to take it apart. Flip up this little tab, pushing the button, pull the two halves apart. There's your lid and shell. Um, here's how this rotor works. I have a Virtue soft arm in there. I don't have the stock um, rotor arm. So, sorry about that. As this top paddle spins this way, the bottom rotor arm is spinning this way, catching the balls and taking them into the feed neck and shooting them in through your gun. So that's how that works. Push down, pulls this off. Spring loaded in the back. So all your balls fall to the rotor, as they call it. Flip these two tabs to the side like that. Pull out your, I guess, arm and whatever that's called, paddles. Your tray. And your planetary gears. You're just left with an empty rotor shell. And you can also take out this battery pack and motor, but it's a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to do it. Show you how to put it back. Put in planetary gears, tray, uh, arm, and paddles. Give them a test, and they'll sink down in. I'm going to clip those two latches. Turn it back in, hook the lid, front right there, and um, connect the back. Push down, and you're done. And um, great hopper, one of the best. If you, could, you know, if you have a, um, if you have like a Empire. Um, 
what am I trying to say? If you have like other hoppers and you're looking to upgrade, this would be the way to go. You can buy them used for about 100, 125. Um, I got this one for 50 without the speed feed and the thing, but the guy was just trying to get rid of it real quick. So, thanks guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'm gonna have more videos with the new camera setup. So, subscribe.